premiere of The Last Seven. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a very interesting film. Yeah. Firstly, in, from your in, from your perspective, tell us a bit about the film. It's been so long. Um, no, it's it's a really interesting film, and I like. What drew me to it, first of all, was the script, and I just thought, it's not your typical thriller, it's not your typical horror movie, it's, you know, it's got a bit of everything in it, which is what I absolutely love. Um, I think all the characters in their own way with all their own little works are just fantastic, and Chloe, I, something sort of drew me to her, and I found similarities in her with myself. Um, which made it all the more fun to play. If my character is involved in a secret military op, which uh, kind of goes tits up and I'm partly responsible for it. Um, and uh, yeah, you find out more about that later. But I mean, I'm a military man, essentially. The moments between life and death are going to be very individual for different people. And uh, this, this film is perhaps a, uh, a glimpse of what that can be. I, I do stage and film. I'm, I'm, I'm currently on stage at the moment. They give me very kindly give me the night off to do to, to come and see this. Um, I love both. It's a very different art. It's a very different craft. Uh, being on uh, on film, uh, a character like Henry is great fun to play with. It's great fun to develop. Uh, hopefully, people enjoy seeing him. You know, this is a homegrown British product that looks fantastic on a low budget, and I think that's you know, what, what more do you want? What more do you want to go and see a film, and be entertained, and scared a little bit, and be challenged, and wonder what's happening? And uh, I think. He will like it. I hope they do. Yeah. Well, it's um, pretty much about the last seven. It's, you kind of get the impression it's the last seven people on Earth, complete strangers. They don't know who they are, what they're doing there. And um, it's kind of a big reveal at the end as to why they are put together and why London is so empty. It's not quite what um, audiences are going to expect from this one. Um, I play Isabella. Um, she's from Portugal, so she doesn't speak any English. So it's very awkward for the rest of the characters because they don't understand what this girl is saying, they don't know who she is, they don't know why she's there. So I kind of add that sort of, I suppose, like annoyance and frustration in the movie that adds to sort of the whole atmosphere. They don't know why they're here or what they're doing. Uh, how are you doing, Simon? Are you nervous about the scene? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty nervous. First time, like a big public audience has seen it. But really happy to be here as well. And it's nice to get all cast and all through here. So, so yeah, really nervous but happy at the end of that. Uh, tell us a bit about the film. I think we 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 know the the brief synopsis from your perspective as the producer as well as someone who acted in it. Tell us a bit more about the last seven. Do you know the last one? It's just it's just like a great story. It's about kind of what seven people would do if they woke up in London and all of a sudden one day that they found nothing. In their life. And that sort of element of surprise of like, well, actually, what, what, what would you do? I mean, you can't call anybody, you can't go anywhere. I mean, and you can go everywhere. You know, when you can go everywhere, it doesn't really matter. It's like that. And the story is all about kind of starting from that point and working your way back. So for us as, as sort of filmmakers, it was a really exciting story to tell. And it was definitely exciting for, uh, for myself as an actor sort of to be in it and sort of to be along with that storytelling process. And it was, to be honest, the backdrop was amazing, but it was all about the eclectic mix of group of people. So it was all about the seven different people together, so we had some, a soldier, a religious guy, a girl who doesn't speak any English, you know, sort of, and the, the ensemble was, it was really disparate and, and not a very convenient group, but then at the end of the world you might not have, you might not be left with who you want to be left with. There might not be any choice. There might not be any choice. <laughs> but it's quite remarkable to see what um, Imran and the cast um, have done, bearing in mind it was really on a wing and a prayer in terms of film production. Um, and I thought it looks fantastic. Oh, it initially, it was actually um, Simon Phillips who <laughs> produced it and he played William Blake. Um, he had a kind of idea about a film he wanted to make with a shopping list. And together over a, about 18 months, we worked on various drafts and it came pretty much to fruition, I think. There's, it's, there's very little that was in the script that isn't on, on the screen. For me, it was always an exercise in trying to um, make the audience as un uncomfortable as possible, as early as possible. And a lot of that was to do with just really selling empty London, which was in itself quite you know, a troublesome technical job. But um, yeah. I'm really happy with, with how it came out. Um, it's my first movie, obviously, and so I'm still kind of getting used to the whole idea of sitting in a cinema watching it with other people. But yeah, 
yeah, I was very happy with how it turned out. Well, as a demo, what was it that attracted you to the screenplay itself? So what was it um, that, that you really liked? Truthfully, it was the fact that, at least in the beginning, I had no clue what was going on. And um, it was a very uncomfortable script to read. Um, Probably not as uncomfortable it was to watch through some of uh, that because a, a lot of it down to you know the visceral nature of the shots and, and using the image in certain ways. But certainly in terms of the script, it was uh, from my point of view interesting. It was different. It used flashbacks well, and it was just that feeling of dread as you got towards the end of the script where you knew something very bad was happening, but you still couldn't quite put your finger on it until you hit the end.